Hey everyone, this is Sam from Wargamer Online, and I'm going to show you how to paint a toxic base or a toxic wasteland base today. It's very simple, we're just going to use cork for the raised areas of the base and painting this with Mechanicus Grey. The rest of the base doesn't need any sand or anything, you can add it, but I'm just going to show you the most basic way of making a, a toxic, like it's more like a pool, and the models would stand on the top of this cork so you could add as much as you wanted to it. And you could add sand on top of the cork as well if you wanted more texture to it. Um, we're just going to use Administratum Grey now just to give it a little bit more colour on the top and you want to uh, wet brush this over the, the raised areas and it will pick up on the, the top parts of the cork here. main thing is that all of the gaps are painted and it's no, there's no cork showing through. And once that's done, we're just going to add Norn Oil to the top of this, and this will darken it back down again. If you had sand on there as well, it would make that a lot more defined. Okay, when that's fully dried, I'm going to use a bad and back now and just tidy up the entire base. So you can go around the rim of the base, and around all of the cork where you've got the grey on to the bottom, ready for the next step. You just be as neat as you can not to get it onto the grey cork areas. Now we're going to add Elysian Green to the flat area, and this is just as a the first coat before we use the technical paint so that it's got some colour. If you wanted it to be a little bit darker as well you could use something like Castellan Green or uh, Caliban Green so it's got a dark green underneath it instead of a bright green depends what sort of effect you want to finish up with. This is just what I've used because it's as close to Nurgle's Rot which we're going to use next as possible. same as before to try not to get it onto the grey areas and if you do just tidy it up with the grey before you move on to the next step and then once that's fully dried I'm going to add Nurgle's Rot to all of the areas that we did Elysian Green and I'm using the texture tool here just to pick up the Nurgle's Rot and drop it so it's quite thick you could use a paintbrush, I just find that this is a, a nice way of applying this technical paint. And you can see it's almost the same colour as Elysian Green. The reason we're using this technical paint is because it gives it that uh, thickness to make it look like toxic slime and it also gives it the gloss that we're going for. And you could have bits of sand on the base as well just to make it even more textured or, and you could do a small pool of this if, you, if that's what you wanted to go for. I'm just showing you an example of what it looks like if you covered the base in this stuff. And then after that step there shouldn't be much tidying up to do but any areas where Nurgle's Rot went onto the rim just go around and tidy it up with a bad and black and then that base is completely done.